So what's the best free video editing software you can get on a Mac right now? Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to my channel. And as you know my channel, if you follow me before, I always try to find good deals on Apple accessories, products, you know, services, all that kind of stuff. I'm all into kind of saving some money for everybody, all right? So what I set out to do is find the best free video editing software on a Mac. Now, there's a whole bunch of different options out there, and iMovie comes to mind because I used it for over 500 videos. And iMovie's great. I mean, it's very easy to master. There's a lot of functionality built in, but the problem is it's limited in some ways, like you know, moving text around, um, some other things you know, as far as the transitions. You just can't get it super, super kind of custom. It's very, you know, you almost know someone's using iMovie when they use it. So I set out to find a free version that's not gonna be expensive like Final Cut Pro, which is about 300 bucks. It's still a good deal, but I just didn't wanna spend that. So I, I set out to find what is the best free editing software. So stay tuned with me here. I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. And I'm just gonna show you how to download it, show you some quick features on it and why I think it's the best. And I might do a tutorial on this if people ask me. I can do a full-fledged tutorial on it. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna show you really quickly the basics. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh yeah, and one thing, really quickly, this stand right here, I'm just gonna say really quickly, this is actually the Affinity Max foldable stand by Banks, B-E-N-K-S. I'll have a link to this in the description. But if you're interested in getting a laptop stand, I'm gonna do a thing on this as well. Hear this click? This thing turns, it clicks. This thing's probably the nicest laptop stand you can buy in the world. A little, you know, it's gonna be more expensive for sure. But anyways, I just wanted to kind of showcase that really quickly. And I'll have a link to that, but I'm gonna do a video on that later. So, all right, let's get into the video here. So the first thing you wanna do is, what is this, what's this program called? This program's called CapCut, all right? C-A-P-C-U-T. Now, before you leave, you might say, well, I, I can use that on my phone. I've used that for years or whatever. I don't know if you know this, but they actually have a desktop version for the Mac right now, and it's phenomenal, all right? So if you go to CapCut.com, look at my screen over here, you'll see it right here, and you can sign up for free here, but you can just download it really right here. So there's a way to sign up for it and use your email and everything. You don't even have to do that though. You can download for the Mac here, and then download it in there, and just don't go with the Pro version. The Pro version costs some money, but the free version's free, and you get so many features with the free version that you just don't need to upgrade it right, you know, right away until you actually know you need to. I don't think I'll ever need to, but anyways, I just wanted to kind of say that. So just download it for free. There's a couple pro features, but you don't need those, all right? So you just click download and you install it. Once you have it installed, you're gonna see a little icon, just like this over here, cap cut right there. You wanna click on it. Now something, you know, obviously very common is gonna come up. Let me just close my screen here. So, so basically here it is. Now this is very common. Obviously this kind of looks almost like iMovie. You know, you click new project for a new project. I have a project that I started here. I'm gonna double click on that. So again, if you look at this laid out here, you'll see that all of your all of your files are sitting right over here on the left side. So you can drag in those files, have them sitting in this little box right here. You can drag in, uh, you know, audio, video, uh, just regular JPEGs, and they're all just sitting that thing ready to be dragged down into the timeline. All right. Over here is your main screen. Obviously, this shows you exactly what the video is going to look like. And then over here is going to be a bunch of different settings once we get into that. Now, this works very similar to iMovie or you know Final Cut Pro, but iMovie really, you can select something like this here. This is just kind of a this is just actually a JPEG. And I can just drag this into and drop it above the timeline like that. So that obviously when you click over here and you play this, you'll see that it'll end up going in one second here. Right there. So you can see that it's obviously put the image in you know above me when I'm talking. You can also go ahead and, and modify this really easily. You can, you know, click on the edges and make it bigger, smaller, picture in picture, all that stuff instantly right in here, all right? But that's not what I wanted to show you. So what's the main difference? You know, obviously, we're not going to get into how to use a timeline and all that stuff right now because it's super easy. But, but what I wanted to do is just show you a couple more basic things here. All right, so the reason this is so cool is if you go over here for text now, if you click on text, see this default text right here? You can take this and drag this into the timeline. Just drop it above the timeline. It's gonna create a layer, see that? This is your text layer. So the, the cool thing about this that's different than iMovie is if I just double click on this, all right? Let me go ahead and double click on this. All right, so here's the text right here. Now the cool thing about this is that you can instantly resize this by taking the corners, dragging it, but you can also position this anywhere in your video that you want very easily, unlike iMovie that makes you kind of go to certain points and then you gotta kind of fudge it to get in there. So so this is super easy with text. You can create any type of text. But beyond that, if you look over here, once you have a text layer selected, it has thousands, you know, maybe not thousands, but it has all these different types of text, you know, I guess you'd call them, what do they call them? Default text, but they're just basically pro preset styles. So you can go ahead and choose a bunch of different preset styles here, but you can also go ahead and here and you can choose bubbles, which basically if you click on it, watch what happens to the text. 
It makes it like a ticket over here. So it's got all these different things built in here. See this? And these are all things that you can use as your text. It's all just ready to go for you. And then if you click on effects, they have a whole thing of effects in here. So let me click on this one. It actually downloaded first just by clicking that. But see how it made it blue over here now? So these effects are all built into this and there's literally, I mean, hundreds of them. Now there's gonna be a couple in here that say pro and that's what I wanted to show you. See that one right there that says pro? That's the one you do not wanna use. So that's if you upgrade to the version that's paid, you can start using some of the pro ones, but there's not even that many in there. If you look at that, I mean, it's, it's, it's very few of them and on top of it, then you gotta pay money, right? So just don't add them to your timeline. It'll let you do it. It, but then when you try to render out later, it's going to go ahead and say you got to pay for it. If you don't use any of those, it renders out perfectly fine and it's a totally free program. All right, the other thing I wanted to show you really quickly, so let's say we have two different, I actually have a split here in my video down here, you can see it. But the thing that's cool about this is it's got just tons of transitions built in. Look at all these transitions. Now again, there's going to be more pro ones in here, but there's a lot of ones that aren't pro. See all these ones in here? So you can go ahead and see all these cool transitions. What you do is you just basically download it like that and see what it does. Again, that's maybe not the best thing to use there, but then you can go ahead and drag it into where the transition should go. And then if you go ahead and play your video, it's gonna go ahead and create that transition for you. See that right there? It's gonna go upside down. You know, I'm not gonna do it right now, but you get the idea. Now inside of here, look at this. There's all these different transitions that comes with not just a few like iMovie, and it's just all built into this program and it's totally free, except for the ones that say pro. Not only that, it's got effects built in, see this? And look how many different effects there are. Again, here's the little slider down here. There's literally hundreds of them, hundreds of different effects that you can use on all your videos in here, all for free. And uh, it's just amazing. So transitions, effects, stickers even. So here's stickers, these are kind of emojis and different types of like fire that's gonna, looks like they're little gifts and stuff. They're all built in as well and you can use those for free. The only thing that's in here that's also included is this audio here. But the one thing I wouldn't do is I wouldn't use any of the audio because you just don't know if you're gonna get a copyright strike or something. So I would just use your own audio. It's built in here, but I just don't trust it. So it's up to you if you wanna try that. So if you look up here though, there's just all these different things including filters adjustments, there's tons of different things built in. And uh, I mean, overall, you just can't get this with another system for free. I mean, filters, adjustments, everything you could ask for is built into the system, right? And then over here, so if we click on the actual video link, although now it's all, let me go over here. So here's my video here. You'll see that if you click on a video, let me just go ahead and double click that. It's gonna come up with all this stuff on the right side too. So inside of here, you can scale the video, you know, you can, there's noise reduction. Now this is gonna be actually built into the pro model so you can't use this on here. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But you can stabilize is included and that's all free. Um, and let me just see here. Go up to here, there's gonna be cutouts and then there's gonna be masking. So masking's built in for free. Um, and then you can go ahead and enhance, you know, face and all that kind of stuff if you need to. So all this stuff is built in. But then you got up here audio settings and let me just see, so you got all your audio for the video. You got speed settings, which are really cool. You got animations. You got adjustments here. This is gonna be your LUTs. It's gonna also be your temperatures, your colors. You got curves built in. You know, all these things are just built into this program and it's all totally free if you wanna use it. So I don't, I'm not, this video is not gonna be about how to use this yet. I'm just showing you some basics about how to, you know, what this program's all about. So go in here and just start fooling around with it. I think that's the best way to start learning. If you have any experience with video editing, it's gonna be just like a super simple one-to-one, -one, you know, everything's basically the same. You just have to learn how to split clips and, you know, obviously use some of the things down here as far as, you know, dragging and dropping, uh, you know, noise files in and, and all the other things. But it does create individual layers for you has undos on everything. So everything's built in where you can make mistakes and then just unedit it and go back to the original version of it. So there's also voice recordings in here. I mean, there's so many things in here that I just can't get into them in this video. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick showcase of what this is all about. So even if you've heard of CapCut before and you've heard of maybe the phone version, this is obviously the desktop version for the Mac and you can see that there's just a ton more features. I barely touched the surface on them, all right? And you just gotta be careful not to choose the pro features. They're few and far between, but when you do that, it can be a chore to find out which ones they are so you can remove them later. That's one thing to remember, otherwise they try to get you to upgrade. Beyond that though, and I've kind of already memorized all that stuff, super easy to do, and then you can render out these videos right away for YouTube, or you can go ahead and save them and upload them to YouTube as you need to. And in fact, I'm gonna be editing this one on CapCut as well, so if you guys like what you see, although I'm not that technical with this kind of stuff, then obviously this is for you as well. But it's free, so if you wanna get into it, I just say dive in, start fooling around, take some photos with your phone, you know, take some videos with your phone, 
uh, audio clips with microphones and just start fooling with it because once you do, you know, it opens up a whole nother world and it's a great hobby to do video editing on and you can create a YouTube channel just like this as well. So I'll probably do a tutorial on all this. I'm talking fast just to kind of show you guys, you know, what this thing's all about and how it all works. But I mean, I've just barely scratched the surface on it, right? And I just wanted to show you it's out there. Download it, give it a try, and then let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, and again, this thing, hear that? This thing is one of the best things I've ever seen. Like I said, it's more expensive than normal as far as normal stands are, but if you're kind of the person that wants the Cadillac of stands, definitely check out that link that I have in the video, is in the video description for the stand here as well. And uh, at the end of the day, you know, that's maybe not the one that's perfect for my channel because I always try to find the best budget ones, but that one's definitely very, very classy and it's one of the best, just best overall stands I've ever used. So talk to you guys soon and let me know uh, if you guys have used this before, if it's a good, you know, good software to learn and put in the comments what you think, and I'll talk to you in about a week or so. Peace.